What's up, guys? I'm Darius 97 WJLB with Remy Martin, team up for excellence. And this time, we're teaming up one of the best bartenders in Detroit. She goes by the name of Kaylee. It's Cocktails and Glam. What's up, Kaylee? What up, though? <laughs> See, I got my, my little bar here stocked up, ready to go. I'm looking to uh, make a nice signature cocktail. Uh, what do you recommend? So we're going to make something that's similar to a Mai Tai to bring out the almond and apricot flavors that's already instilled in the Remy BSOP cognac. So it's something really good, really mixed. If you're not making the cognac, this is perfect for you because it kind of make you into a, um, a, a converter. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So we can start building them whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Let's get it. Okay. So I'm going to start with an ounce and a half of um, the Remy BSOP. I'm going to put it in our shaker. I already got ice in there to save the top for you guys. So and then right. um, most cocktails I do, I try and stick to two ounces to, uh, tops for liquor, um, depending on, you know, what it is. But we're at home, so we'll stick to a half ounce. So it's two ounces total of liquor. So you got, your, uh, you got your Cointreau? Is that Cointreau there? It's Cointreau. Uno, dos, tres, Cointreau. How much of Cointreau did you, did you say? A uh, half ounce. Okay. And then we'll do, uh, let's do the lime juice next. We'll do an ounce of that. One ounce of limey juicy. Into the shake. Yep. Into the shaker. Next, I'm grabbing the orgeat, which is like I said, the almond syrup. We're gonna do three quarters of an ounce. Three quarters of an ounce. Three quarters. I don't, I don't want it too, too sweet. Thick. Yep. And then pineapple juice. I'm using good old fashioned Everfresh. So we'll do a half ounce of that. Just a little, a little touch, a little touch, not too much. You can you want to put a little more in there, you can. Are you ready okay. to pop the top? We'll get the good shake. Pop the top, get the shaky yaky. Okay. You're good. And then I have my ice. Already in my rocks glass right now. So I'm put it right there. So I got some ice in there. I'm gonna strain it right on top. You can do dirty pour if you want to. I just prefer to um take out all that extra ice out there. So that's not too diluted. So pour the it right ice on top. glass. Pour it yeah. into the rock glass. Oh, it looks amazing. I'm gonna add a little extra crushed ice on there, just on top, just to make it look pretty. And I'm drinking it, so I'm using my hands. Fresh ice right on top. We'll add some Angostura Aromatic Bitters. This is like the salt and pepper of cocktails. It just makes it taste and smell and be so more delicious. Just a couple of dashes on top. How many dashes? Then, uh, three to three. Three dashes would be good. And then um, garnish how you like. You do lemon wheel if you want, lime wheel. I'm going to use mint today. Just so I like smelling mint. With fresh drinks like this, especially if they remind me of like the islands or you set it on the side or just drop it in. Um you actually you know you put it on the side of the glass. So if you want to cut it in the side, like right in the middle, like halfway down, and put it right there, it's just slide onto the glass for you. This looks amazing. Did I did I do that? You did. So this is ours. Cheers. Cheers. Wow, this is pretty good. And I made it myself, I can't believe it. Thanks Kaylee, <laughs> Kaylee with Cocktails and Glams. Listen guys, you can go to Remy Martin's website right now and get more cocktails, recipes right now. RemyMartin.com, Remy Martin, team up for excellence. Let me team up with this drink and enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs>